Ladies and gentlemen, today will be a day for the history books. Humanity has achieved great things from putting man on the moon to turning the frickin' frogs gay, but today we're making an AI for the most intense, high-octane, frog gayifying, badass game in existence. Today we are doing... Good Axe 4! Oh, fuck. Do a flip! Ow. Oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> 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 so yeah, Connect 4. I'm sure you know it. I'm sure you love it. It's the game that truly separates the men from the little baby bitch boys. And today, I don't plan on being a little baby bitch boy. So let's get right into it. Actually, no, fuck that. Let's explain some shit first. All right, what the fuck are we actually doing here? There's an online Connect 4 community, which plays on papergames.io. And the plan is to create an AI to make little baby bitch boys of even the best of players. This is episode two of my Bullying Nerd series, which is now actually a series. Susan, please don't hurt me. It's a joke. Last time I took the lunch money from everyone in the Tetris community, but uh-oh, looks like my wallet's empty again, and there is a ripper bake sale going on, so we must strike once more. Okay, intro done, protagonist motivations are established, now let's get into the action. And by action, I mean programming, which is very synonymous. Okay, let's go. First up, I need to recreate Connect 4. Well, I mean, I don't need to, but it'll help a lot with testing and shit, honey, I mean. Come on, it's Connect 4, it's not that hard. <laughs> I mean, action, testosterone, explosion. Oh, hell yeah, we got a white window. Next one, me, ha! <laughs> now let's add some Connect 4 to that window. Wow, squares, wow, circles, wow, red circles. Could this game get any more interesting? Yellow circles. Now we need to make the player, ah, fuck off, Norton. Now we just need to make the player add the circles. Oh, shit. Hey, Isaac. Hey, what's up? Yeah, 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 baby! Now let's just add math and shit to check if either player got a connect for and oh, 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 we're done! Kaboosh! Stained on! And I'm gonna sell the fuck down because otherwise I'm gonna have a heart attack before I finish the video. Okay, the game is done. Now it's time to talk AI. Connect 4 is a solved game, which means that given any board, it is possible to mathematically calculate the best possible move. This is done using an algorithm called the Minimax algorithm. Ooh, I know, very impressive. Okay, explanation time. Disclaimer, the explanation you're about to hear is not very good and should not be used as educational content under any circumstances. If erection lasts longer than four hours, seek medical attention. Okay, here we go. Say we've got this board position. How do we calculate the best move in this situation? Ooh, I have an idea. Let's generate all the possible moves we could make. Like this? Well, what now? Oh, I know, for each of these moves, let's generate all the possible moves the opponent can make. Like, like this? Okay, very good. And then for each of those boards, we can generate all possible moves we can make. Uh, okay. And then for those boards, we can generate all the possible moves we can make. Okay, I, I think I'm sensing a pat. And then for each of those boards, we can generate all the possible moves we can make. Okay, I'm just gonna mute him. Okay. Are you, are you sensing a pattern yet? So basically, I just give this board to the computer, and then the computer goes... Okay, that's programmed up. Let's see how that goes. Hmm, fuck. All right, so the problem is this is gonna take forever because there's calculating so many different board positions. So the name of the game is optimization. And guess who knows a lot about optimization? <laughs> Not me. Uh, so guess what time it is? Plagiarism time, yay! <laughs> Okay, so this guy is called Pascal Pons, and he's written a guide to everything you need to know if you want to make a Connect 4 AI, which is very convenient. If it wasn't for this guy, I wouldn't be able to do this because I'm not very good at optimization or programming or Connect 4. So yeah, thanks, Pascal. You do good work. Okay, so the first plagiarism, I mean, optimization is Minimax with Alpha Beta Pruning. Ooh, which is essentially like normal Minimax, but a bit fucky wucky. And once again, this explanation is really bad and probably false. So just, you know, heads up. Uh, essentially, there are some moves which are just so obviously bad that there's no way the player will make that move. And if they do, they're fucked anyway, so it doesn't matter. This means that we can take the search tree, here she is, and just cut off a large amount of the branches because those were the moves that there's no way the AI will make. Okay, that's coded up. Let's check on the computer. <laughs> Ah, okay, still needs some work. Okay, Pascal, what do you have for us, you beautiful bastard? I would kiss you, but I have no lips. Let me just rest my screen on your face. I could get lost in those eyes. 
Okay, optimization number two is a transposition table. Oh, wow. Evan used big fancy word. I don't really know what it means, but I do know it's fucking amazing. This one I can explain a bit better. Okay, so when we do the whole generate all possible moves for each player thing, it's pretty common for the same board configuration to show up more than once. For example, these are two ways of getting to the same board state. Okay, so this board state and this one are identical, which means that when we generate all possible moves we can reach from these positions, we're calculating the same moves twice, which is a waste of time. So to save the day, we simply have a big ass table which saves the results from each position. And before we generate all possible moves from a position, we check the table to see if we've already done it. And if we have, then we can say fuck you to this position and just grab it from the table. Alright, we have coded that bad boy and whoop dot pop. Let's check in on our computer. Oh. We did it. But yeah, uh, not to be a party pooper, but I limited the search to only look 12 moves into the future, which is pretty far, but not nearly far enough. So yeah, you know what this calls for? More optimizations. Yeah, all right, let's speed through this. Optimization, optimization speed, speed round. round. Change the order in which we look at moves based on how good they are. Represent each board state using binary to speed up all the calculations. Add multiprocessing so my computer can calculate 16 things at once. Stop exploring moves we know will kill us immediately. Stop it. Fixing like major bugs in all my other optimizations. Ugh. Okay. Let me explain how I'm struggling even though I have like a tutorial that I'm following. <laughs> I'm writing this in Python because that's what I'm familiar with. And honestly, I didn't think too much about the implications. The problem with Python is that while it's easy to learn, it's got a lot of useful libraries. It's also slow as fuck. Pascal was a smart boy and he used C++ to code, which is known as one of the speediest of boys by the computer science community. So C++ good, Python bad. It could also be true that I fucked up my implementations of these optimizations. And that's also like partially to blame, but you know, I find that unlikely. Okay, so I've outlined the problem. Now, time for a pop quiz. Let's see how well you know me. Do I A, rewrite all the code in C++ to give us a massive boost? Do I B, continue adding optimizations in Python and hoping eventually it will get fast enough to reach the point where we've solved Connect 4? Or do C, I cheat. Okay, click which option you think I chose. If you clicked option A or B, then congratulations, dipshit, you just paused the video. And also, you don't know me very well, do you? Which means you must be new here, which means I probably won't be getting many new subs in this video on the account that I just called you all dipshits. Yeah, not my best play. Uh, if you did click C, then uh, it's still a video, so nice. Uh, and also, that's a little insulting, uh, but you got it. You're right. So yeah, I cheated just a little bit, just a little cheat. Depends on your definitions, really. I was this close to giving up, but I had an idea for how I could get the results I want without putting in the work it requires. And if you think that I did not take that option in a heartbeat, then you actually must be new here. And uh, hello, uh, please subscribe. This epiphany was reached when I was praying late at night, like I always do. I asked, what would Pascal do? And then it hit me, Pascal has a website where he's showing off his algorithm. So I just programmed my algorithm to play against his and save all the moves his AI makes. Then I run that bad boy all weekend and ooga booga, you got a list of 15,000 optimized moves. Fantastic, now small problem. Very small, it's not huge. Uh, there are 4,531,985,219,092 different possible board configurations in Connect 4, so 15,000 doesn't seem all that impressive. And if you give me a random board position, the chances of it being in the 15,000 are like 0.000004% or something. I, I might have fucked up the number of zeros there, but you get the point. It's it's low. So mathematically speaking, I'm fucked. But the one thing your boy knows how to do right is cheat. Just ask my wife. I was going to make a wife joke, but we all know that's not a thing. Okay, moving on. So I didn't just have my AI play full games against Pascal until he wrecks me. No, no, no. I only had games last for six moves and then they would reset. This means that the dictionary of 15,000 optimized moves are only for the early game. And since there are less discs in play, the number of possible combinations are way lower. So the chance of a match is way higher. This boost or cheat, if you will, is massive and it can almost always find a move from the library or calculate the best possible move using my AI. So the perfect-ish Connect 4 algorithm is now complete. Time for blood.
Okay, are you ready? The action is about to begin. Three, two, one, let's go! The most exciting Connect 4 montage ever. Probably. I didn't look it up, but that seems likely. But yeah, some of you might think I cheated a bit in this video, and you're probably right, and by probably, I mean definitely. But one thing you don't want to cheat on is a child's education, and there's no substitute for hands-on experience. And that is where this week's sponsor comes in. Kiwico makes exposing kids to the concepts of science, technology, engineering, and math Super simple. Each monthly crate is designed by experts and tested by kids to teach them a new theme through hands-on learning and fun, and is a fantastic resource for learning at home. Kiwico offers eight subscription lines for different age groups and topics, and each box comes with all the supplies you need for that monthly project. So no need to run to the store or leave your house at all, which is definitely something I could appreciate. Kiwico sent me two crates from the Tinker line, and even as a grown man, I found them really fun. The first one was a walking robot, which taught you all about robotics and motors. Oh yeah, oh shit! The second one they sent me was just so cool. Cool. It's a double pendulum, which are famous for producing really chaotic and interesting movement. This movement is captured using an LED and glow-in-the-dark paint, and the result is actually ridiculously cool. Like, I spent way too long playing with this one. Kiwico crates are also a great option for holiday gifts, and that's a gift that keeps on giving. It's like getting Christmas presents every single month, which is just fantastic. So if you want to support this channel and get an awesome crate every single month, then go to kiwico.com slash codebullet and get 50% off the first month of any crate line you choose. All right, thanks again to Kiwico for sponsoring this video. Woo! Okay, so that, that happened. That was a video. God damn. Oh my god. <laughs> that was the, the shit about me giving up. That was real. That was, I was so close for this video not being a video. Like, honestly, I got like 80% of the way through the program again. I'm like, I, what? I like, I like ran it for the first time and it's like, bro, this is not interesting. Like once you've seen one game of Connect 4, you've seen them all. Like they all pretty much end the same way. And it's not like I can like speed it up because I'm waiting for the other people to play. So it's not like the Tetris one, which can be fast as fuck. And that's sort of the entertainment value of it. This one's just like, yeah. Woo. Uh, so yeah, that was a struggle, but I just like, I was, I don't know, fallacy of sunk costs. I was too far into it to back out. And so yeah, here we are. You're welcome. We have a video. <laughs> yeah, I thought this one would be like a, a week or something. Like, I thought it would take, like, a couple of days to program. That's why I committed to this. And then I'm, like, three weeks in, and I'm like, wait a second, this is taking fucking ages, and it's still just Connect 4. Uh, so I hope I made the video somewhat interesting. I tried to, like, make it a bit shorter, because I honestly couldn't be bothered explaining all the boring shit behind the AI. Because, I mean, it was, it was kind of interesting, but it was a lot of effort, and... I couldn't be fucked. I was more into the explosions and special effects. That was fun. But, yeah, so, um... Next video will be a bit more ambitious and interesting, I swear. I don't know what I was thinking to this one. And I'm interested to see what you guys think about it because, goddamn, as soon as I saw the footage, I was like, oh, brah, this is going to be such an uphill battle, but we'll be fine. I was supposed to do a flight simulator in Unity. That's what I was planning on doing. And then I was like, oh, I could just do this Connect 4 idea that I've had for a while. Um, and I figured it would be like really quick and simple to program because I didn't... I didn't think I had to do all the fucking optimizations. I thought just like base minimax, which I coded in a couple of days would be enough, but whatever. It is what it is. Um, yeah, so I'll probably do the flight sim. I'll probably actually commit to doing the flight sim. Which I think would be actually really fun and interesting and the result will actually be cool and not just somebody fucking playing Connect 4. <laughs> whatever, live and learn. Oh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you didn't, I'm sorry. I promise more interesting stuff next time. Uh, I hope to get a video done. I don't know. I'm not going to commit to any plans. Probably next month, but who knows. Uh, I hope you guys are doing well and staying healthy and all that. I don't know. Okay, I'm not really saying anything anymore. I'm just kind of rambling. So that's all I have to say. Talk to you later. Bye. I just, I just said that like I was hanging up.
Um, yeah, all right. See you, see you in the next video. This is not a phone call. This is a YouTube video. God damn, I gotta stop rambling.